Sandra, look, if you're there, can you, um, can you call me back? I really need to talk to you. Come in. Sandra, I just keep leaving her loads of messages. She wasn't much of a parent at the best of times. Hey, she was Liv's mum, and she deserves to know. Where's Vinny? Uncle Zach, I keep telling you, he's at the scrapyard. Oh. I'm sorry. It's just, he hasn't spoken. He's not said one single word. It's like, he's not processed anything that's happened. I'm being shock. I mean, someone die in his arms. No wonder he's in denial. Will you help me talk to him? Me? No. I'm just looks like Chaz saying the wrong thing. Hey. Hey. You loved Liv. That's what matters. Yeah, I did. I really did. She needed a dad. I tried to be that. The one she deserved. It's okay. It's okay. How do you know Anne could be back any minute? I had to see her. What happened to Liv? <laughs> yeah. Chaz, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's like I'm holding it all in. Siren's in pieces, and if I let go. I hate seeing you hurting. One day, one day, I will take you away from this. <sighs> what you like with washing machines? Doing your laundry. It's jammed. Must have been finishing a cycle when the power cut happened. Right. There should be some screwdrivers around here somewhere. That's well, a good job you're here, you know, to help Vinny. Yeah, well, I'm not helping. I'm going back to Marco. As soon as the funeral's over and done with, I'm going to crack on with my life like I never left. Right. Liv never even got to visit us. Marco's not even met her. Yeah, but you saw her, you came home. We had so much we were going to do, though. We had, we had plans for the future. <laughs> and even when I wasn't with her, at least I knew she was there. Just 